This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hotels, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It is the 22nd of June 2021, we're in the MI24P Hind and we're looking at the autopilot system. The first and most obvious thing that I'm sure you've all worked out already is that some of it isn't working, that's fine. We're going to show what is and what we believe isn't working at the moment. First, let's go over the basics. So this isn't a really a tutorial because like we said, we can't explain some of this stuff. So this is our autopilot slash AFCS panel. AFCS, Automatic Flight Control System. Now needless to say, I have control of the helicopter. I can wiggle the cyclic left, right, forwards, back, uh, what I call rudder, actually anti-torque pedal, but I'm just going to call it rudder, and collective. That will control the helicopter, but the AFCS can have a small amount of control on top of that to increase stability and ease of flying. It cannot fully take control of my controls. Take for instance a modern jet like the F-18 where it can essentially fully take control of the plane. In this case it can assist your controls by adding a certain amount of percent of control in four axes. Those four axes are your roll pitch and altitude. Which of those four axes you want it to help with, we can choose. At the moment, I've got roll and pitch turned on. I can turn your on as well, and I can turn altitude on as well. In this case, it would help with all four of my flight axes, or I can turn them all off. These small gauges here show how much input the AFCS is trying to put into the flight controls in terms of these four axes. So, for instance, let me just turn them on for a second. I'm just going to do some movement of the controls. If you can see that, these movement of these lines is not in any way representing what I'm doing with the stick. Instead, it's showing what the AFCS is doing in these particular channels or axes to stabilize me. There's a repeater at the top right. You can press right control and enter, or right control and return. This just shows these guys here, but makes it easier to see. So you can see there, just a reminder, that is not representing my controls, that is representing what the AFCS is doing in those particular two channels to keep me stable based on what my controls are doing. So the first thing we're going to do is fly with all four channels or axes of AFCS turned off. So this is just me controlling the helicopter without any help from the AFCS. What you'll find when you do this is that she is very unstable. It has very large moments of inertia. Imagine you put a massive whoa, weight on front of the chopper and a massive weight on the back of the chopper. That's what it feels like. Almost impossible for me to keep the thing stable. Okay, I'm going to try and land it now. So what they do is they put an AFCS into the flight controls to assist the pilot to make it easier to fly. I'm trying my absolute best at the moment without these channels on. So there we go. Put her down. It is flyable, it's flyable, but you wouldn't want to fly that because it's too hard. So let's turn one control on. Roll. Watch this K here. So you can see now in the roll axis, those are the movements that it's making within its limit of authority to keep me stable. And already it feels more stable helicopter. Probably the most important one is pitch and heading, I would imagine. Break on. Let's put them all on. Watch the top right of the screen. Watch them doing their magic. Dampening based on what I am doing. In all four axes, all four channels. Much easier to fly. I can hold her nice and still now. There you go. Now let's put it down. Next, let's look at the autopilots. These are a bit more intelligent. Rather than just trying to keep us stable, the autopilots actually try and keep us doing something like hovering, like maintaining altitude, like maintaining a heading, like maintaining a speed. If we were to take off and get ourselves in a very rough hover, we can then make the hover much easier by turning the hover autopilot on. This is a more intelligent system that just uses the same four controls to assist me in hovering and it makes a massive amount of difference. Additionally to that, altimeter slash altitude hold is here. We can have it on with the hover to assist us in the hover. Now at this point, our knowledge really starts to break down. We're not sure 
if the altimeter hold uses these four existing channels or if it can actually have access to move my collective we don't know so if you guys know anything empirically please let us know finally there is route or route mode this will allow us to choose a magnetic heading here I want to go on uh, 300 heading turn the route on can't do it I have to be within certain parameters to get the route autopilot on obviously sitting on the ground I'm out of those parameters and that will then follow that route and told otherwise we can stabilize the speed if we want a constant speed or we can turn speed stabilization off that side of things we've been told by the way we're not making this up we've been told it's not working at the moment so I wouldn't even bother trying to get route mode to work at the moment finally we have trims down here as well for these stabilizers dampeners channels we're not sure what the official word is yet for them uh, but we haven't found any reason why you would want to trim them. So that's as best we understand these controls at the moment. So the final thing we're going to do is use what is working, which is the autopilot hover and the altimeter hold. So we're going to put all four stabilization channels on so it has the maximum control. And we're going to take off and get ourselves roughly into a hover using our eyes and our basic instruments. Probably the most useful thing you're going to see here at the moment is a hover assist. That's this top left instrument here. It points up, down, left or right based on if I'm actually moving in relation to the ground in that direction. I'm having to do a lot of work at the moment and you know I'm doing a lot of work because you can see at the top left screen constantly moving the cyclic left, right, up and down. I'm constantly moving the rudder and I'm constantly moving the collective. In fact, if I trim it might be a lot more sensible. We just retrim there. Okay, not as much movement now but there is still a fair amount of work for me to do. Now if I turn on my hover autopilot, it's going to start working these uh, stabilizers now to get me into a superior hover. Now, remember, it only has a certain amount of control and I have to work with this autopilot, so I'm, I'm still gonna have to do a little bit of work. In fact, all I'm working at the moment is now the rudder and the collective, and I've actually taken my right hand off the stick altogether because the autopilot's doing it all for me. And look at this. Bear in mind, I'm not touching the cyclic anymore. If I'm not touching anything anymore, it's now completely settled. No, just my pedals, just my pedals, tiny bit of pedal. Now look here. Uh, my hover indicator it, although you can see me moving about a bit I'm not actually moving forwards back left or right and you can see the AFCS doing all the work it needs to here within a, its regime to keep me hovering over that location uh, which is really clever because I would struggle to do that on my own and if I can get it nicely balanced there I'm now going to take hands off everything now longer no longer touching the stick no longer touching the throttle no longer touching the pedals there was a tiny bit of heading movement um, because I need a tiny bit of pedal input, but otherwise it's kept me perfectly hover. That's doing 90% of the work for me now. We can assist that further with altimeter hold as well. Now, every time you add or take away one of these autopilots, you need to make some adjustments in the way we've got the collective set. Remember, it only has a certain amount of control, so I have to work with the autopilot I need to get it settled again. I'm no hands off stick. I'm no hands off throttle. When I say throttle, I mean collective, obviously. Just on the rudder. It seems that it can't do the full rudder for me. I need to still have some rudder, rudder input. Otherwise, that there is a pretty neat hover. Again, it's doing 90% of the work for me. I'm just doing the occasional stamp of rudder. Uh, so that's it. Turn them off. Zap, 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 zap. That shows what we've got at the moment. Sorry that took so long, but it's not really meant to be a professional video. It just shows you what we understand at the moment. Anything you want to add to that at the moment, RC? Nope. Hope that was useful, and I will see you later.